Hey, what's up guys? What if you can place multiple operating systems that are bootable in one USB stick? Maybe today you want to install Windows 10 in your PC. You need to create one USB stick which is bootable with Windows 10. Then there's another scenario that you want to install Windows 7 to another machine. Then you need to create another USB stick that is bootable in Windows 7. Or maybe you want to install again a Linux machine in another PC then you keep on creating USB stick that is bootable in the operating system you want to install. Now, this is a perfect solution for you that I'm going to show you wherein you can select like what I'm showing you on my screen. Well, basically you can only see three, but of course it depends on the capacity of the USB sticks you have. Because if you want to place more operating system in the USB stick, well, of course it will depend on the size capacity of your USB stick. Now jump in and I'm going to show it to you quick and easy. So here in my computer, you can see that I have Ventoy and I'll place the link on the description below so that you can just go ahead and copy paste this one. I want us to navigate to the tested ISO so that you can see the supported operating systems here. So we have Windows 7 up to Windows 11 and then we have the server versions of Windows up to 2022 and then a list of a lot of Linux and Unix and Chrome OS and the like. Now, if you want to go in further, check on this one on the 1,120 tested images, you can go ahead and check it right just here. We have Windows and all the things that um, they have placed here. So what we are going to do is go directly and download Ventoy. You can click on Downloads. And if you are using Windows, of course, go for Windows Zip. Then it will take you to GitHub. Just scroll down, then download something that says Windows Zip, right? So I'll click that and it will download. It's a very small software. So you can go ahead and open that. Then you can extract this one so that we can see the contents. So I'll just go ahead and check where it's going to be saved. I'll just click extract, that will click second. Then there you go. So I'll open the folder and then you can see Ventoy to disk, okay? So this is the one you're going to open. So I'll just go ahead and double click this to run the application. All right. So first it's going to, if it's not showing, showing USB, then you click refresh. It detected the SanDisk um, USB that I have. It's 32 gig. All right. So I'll just go ahead and press um, install so that we are going to make this um, SanDisk bootable for multiple operating system. Uh, don't forget to back up the files that you have and make sure that you have the correct USB stick because you will uh, delete everything in that USB stick, all right? So it's done. Then I'll just go ahead and press OK to move on to the next step, all right? So I can close this one already. We don't need anything else. I'll navigate to the folder where I saved my ISO. I have Ubuntu, Windows 7, Windows 10. You can add more if you want. So I'll just copy this one. And always remember, you can add more, but it depends on the size of your USB. So you can see the USB that's converted into Ventoy uh, something something here. I'll just go ahead and paste those three um, operating systems that I have. And then I'll just go ahead and fast forward um, this one because it will take a little bit longer. And I, I don't know why it's a little bit slow. But anyway, I just cut the footage and make sure that the, this one are copied to Vintoy. So after checking, of course, they are there. So the next thing we're going to do is unplug the USB stick and move on to the computer where we are going to install um, the operating system. So there you go. I'll just go ahead and plug this one to this PC just to show you that you can select what operating system you would like to install depending on what you like. So I'll power this one on. Of course, you have been installing operating systems before. You knew the boot menu key and all the stuff, so I don't need to mention it. So for me, I just need to go to F9. So that I'm going to go, and then you can see my UEFI SanDisk. I'll just select that one because that's my USB stick that has multiple OS, and I'll just press Enter. Then it will show me the options. I have Ubuntu, Windows 10, and Windows 7. Again, you can add more but it depends on the size of your USB stick. So to show you the next step so that um, you can see, I'll just go ahead and try Windows 10. It's going to load it up. 
and of course the very first step that's going to show like any other Windows installation that you will see starting from Windows Vista I guess and there you go if you want to install then proceed but of course this is me showing you that this is how it's done so anyways guys I hope you have learned something from this video if you have any questions just drop a comment down below if you are not yet subscribed in this YouTube channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.